Well today we've got uh, some 17 different tuning houses with uh, 30 cars to really showcase the best of the tuning industry. It's about taking some of the, the latest and greatest cars that are out there on the market and uh, seeing what different tuning companies can do to get that little bit more performance out of them. We've got a number of different activities to really try and sort of push the performance of the, of the cars and show what they're capable of doing. We've got the, uh, the traditional drag strip, which is the, the great indicator to show sort of acceleration figures. We've got the circuit component down here where we've got Rick Kelly, V8 supercar driver. He's sort of pushing the cars around the circuit. And we've also got the dyno tune. So this is where the, uh, the, the guys get to strap their cars on and see what sort of a horsepower figure they can get. So the skid pan that we'll use on day two is a, a bit of a figure eight course, so it's quite tight and twisty. So again, it really is going to look for, I suppose, cars that have had a lot of suspension improvements. And the whole idea of the event is that uh, we're looking for the cars to have their own sort of strengths and weakness in some of the areas. So some of the, some of the smaller cars might not do so well on the drag strip, but we look to see them do very well on the skid pan area. So while the cars are getting lined up for the dyno, which will be interesting, put your money where your mouth is, so to speak. Um, we're not trying to pull any tricks, we just want to see how we compare. The good thing about the 86 and what we've done with it, it was we've ironed out some of the dips in the torque curve, which so far um, it looks like we're the only one that have. Uh, makes it a lot more drivable on the street, but uh, 105 kilowatts is virtually where we expected it to be. On the dyno, uh, I saw 195 kilowatts at uh, all four wheels, which was exactly what we were expecting, so I'm pretty happy with that result. So we're a couple of hours into Hot Tuna Challenge. Uh, we've got three cars here today. We've already had all three of them on the dyno. One of them has just head across to the drags. So we're looking for 0 to 100, quarter mile, uh, top speed at the end of the quarter mile. So the THR86 hit the drag strip, uh, mid 15s, which not setting the world on fire, but out of a 2 litre NA car, that's pretty much what you can expect. Straight line performance probably isn't what the 86 is about, um, but uh, that's that's to say we've also got to do some some time around the circuit, which is where that car will really really shine. Tire selection is going to be very important in the overall scheme of things in this event because you're trying to, we're trying to look for cars that are, are going to do well in all, all facets of the competition, but it's also about thinking of the end consumer and what's going to work for them as an everyday car as well. I thought we'd do a little bit better, but uh, you know, the uh, Rick Kelly said it was a pretty impressive car, plenty of grunts. You know, first day down here for Hot Tuna, and the track out there behind me, the Eastern Creek, New extension is very good. It's pretty tight as well, so it favours the smaller cars um, that are pretty nimble. Uh, there's a few differences today in tyre as well. You can feel some cars have got like an R-type tyre, a nice soft one, and it really helps get the most out of that package. And some of the more road-going tyres, the harder compound, you can feel it skating across the surface, uh, and, and you know the lap time just isn't quite there. Uh, Rick Kelly dropped out of the car and said it was very, very well balanced. Probably one of the better cars here. Um, we're expecting that to shine through on the figure eight as well. The skid pan that we'll use on day two is a, a bit of a figure eight course, so it's quite tight and twisty. Some of the smaller cars might not do so well on the drag strip, but we look to see them do very well on the skid pan area.